Welcome to MD Bytes. In this video, you're going to watch how to use goal seek function in Google Sheets. Among various data analysis tools, this goal seek function is very particular because it can identify the input value automatically based on the output value. In this worksheet, we are going to work on three set of exercises starting from car loan payment and grading system scale and also another example as well. So now let us begin with car loan payment example where you can see this 438 is the payment due amount which has to be paid per month for the loan taken for the car. So here the loan taken for the car is principal amount. So this is the function you can see in the formula bar PMT function which has been applied to calculate the due based on these three input values rate of interest number of months and principal amount the obtained value is 438 so this is the value which has to be paid now imagine that we can if we can able to pay 500 then what will be the principal amount so that is the data validation we need to do so which can be applied by using goal seek function for that we need to get into add-ons in the menu bar where you cannot find now we are going to bring this add-on function the goal seek function in here for that make a click on this get add-ons so that it will take us to google workspace marketplace where we need to search for our add-on function so now i just type goal seek in here and then i click so that it will search for and it finds this goal seek for sheets in google cloud so now i click on here to download and install now this takes me to the next page which is where we can do the installation and I click continue. I need to now click continue to get installed. So once I click continue, it gets installed. Now you can see the message box pops in and I click on done. So now I need to go back to my exercise. So now goal C has been added. Now let us see how to change this 438 to 500 so that I need to revise my principal amount. For that I click on add-ons. Now you can see the goal seek function already added in here and I click on open now. So now the goal seek function property will be brought in here. So here is where I need to set up all the parameters for goal seek. Set cell is the first parameter, two value and by changing cell. So these are the three parameters. Set cell is the location of the output cell. So 438 is where the value of the output is here. So I need to capture the selected cell which will bring the location of the selected cell in the sheet. So now this 438 where we have the output, the cell has been selected. I click on capture selected cell. So now this brings the location of the output cell. Now we need to set up the value. So where we are going to change this to 500. I have key in to value 500. And now what will be our input value? The input value is this principal amount, which is now 24,000, which has to be revised. So for that, again, I select the cell and click on capture selected cell option. So this brings the location of the input cell as well. So now we have set up all the parameters to apply goal seek function to do the data validation. So now I need to click on solve so that the changes will start happen. So I have clicked the solve option in here. So now the data validation will begin. So this data validation will do based on the output value which we have set it up. So we have set it up to 500. So the value has to be 500. The output value has to be 500 based on the input value will be determined. So based on our desired output, input value will be automatically identified by goal seek function in here. So now you can see the validation has been stopped. Yeah, we got the message box that goal seek has been completed. So now you can see the change that 24,000 has changed to 27,000. If I can able to pay 500, the tax I mean the principal amount is 27,000 plus. So now we move on to the next exercise, which is grading system example, where we are going to identify an input cell value, which is missing there. So here 88 percentage is the average for all the seven subject marks provided in here. But you can notice the seventh subject mark is missing. So this is the input which we are going to identify based on the output value. So here the output is 88 percentage. The average is calculated already. Now we are going to change this output and based 
on the input value will be identified so now let us start doing the exercise to identify this missing value so for that we need to set up the properties in goal seek function we need to remove all these parameters which we have already set it for the previous exercise and we need to set up the new parameters the new selected cells in here for set cell i am going to set up this 88 percentage where it is been located so i click on capture selected cell to get the formula function in here which is in p12 so now for the value let us assume that 90 should be our output value so i need 90 percentage so that i need to find the input value for the subject 7 so for by changing the cell in here we need to select the subject 7's mark and i click on the location i click on capture selected cell location so it has been identified that p11 is as we have set up all the parameters into goal seek function to be applied for we just click on solve in here and you can notice that the data validation has been started to work on based on the output value which we have desired so we have assumed 90 as our output value so that the conversion happens and it identifies the input value based on the output value which we have mentioned so now it, the calculations have been automatically processed to determine the input value based on the output value now you can see the goal seek process has been completed but we have a lot logical error in here it shows that 102 102 as the input value the subjects cannot be 102 it has to be less than 100 i mean it has to be equal or less than 100 so it means that we have to change the desired output value so that is the logical error so it cannot be 90 percentage because if it is 90 then the output will be 102 so now if i change the 90 to 89.5 let us assume the output value as 80 9.5 and again we apply this goal seek function to the same input cell it has to be revised based on this output value so i just clear the value which is in subject 7 and we need to rework on the function so now 89.5 will be the desired output based on subject 7's input value will be identified so now we just click on the solve option again now you can see the data validation is processed again this time the output value will be 89.5 as we have desired for that and based on the input value will be identified automatically so this is how we have to apply goal seek function to determine the input value so now it has been completed the goal seek process has been done now you can see the input value has been determined automatically the value is 98.49 and something so now i just reduce the decimal points so this is the input value which we have determined using goal seek function for the output value which we have desired for 89.5 so this is the second exercise how we identify the missing input value so now we move on to the next exercise you can see employee name salary new salary where we are going to apply a new function and we are going to revise the input value so here this is 6.8 percentage is the increment percentage which has been used to calculate the new salary in here you can find the formula applied in the formula bar which has been applied with multiplying the existing salary with this increment percentage and then again added with the existing salary we are going to revise this 6.8 percentage by setting up an output value by calculating the sum of new salary so now we need to identify the total amount of salary paid to the employees by the organization 9.8 million so this 9.8 million is the total amount of salary paid to the employees by the organization imagine that the organization is ready to pay 10 million so if they are ready to revise this 9.8 to 10 million what will be the revised salaries and what will be the increment percentage so that has to be identified based on the 6.8 will be our input value and we'll be changing it so now let me clear the parameters which we have passed for the previous exercise in goal seek function now let us set up the new parameters so this 9.8 million value this will be our output value i just select the cell and capture the location and move on to the desired output value i need to set up the value the output value must be 10 million because imagine that organization is ready to pay 10 million as the total amount of new salary so now based on this the salaries has to be revised and this increment percentage 
percentage has to be also revised so then we have to select this increment percentage as our input value then i need to set up here the by changing the cell so i select the cell and then capture the location of the cell by clicking the icon in here now the output cell location has been selected so now if i click on the goal seek solve option the data validation will begin and change this 9.8 to 10 million and then the salaries will be changed initially and then the 6.8 percentage increment percentage will be also revised so this is a type of reverse process starting from the formula cell and it gets all the cells related to the formula and then the input value will be revised so there obviously the 6.8 will be incremented so i click on solve in here and you can see the data validation starts so you can see it goes to the maximum of then it comes in down the the 10 million has to be set up as the output value and then based on this function has been applied for the salary values first the salary amounts will be revised and based on the salary amounts to match with this 10 million this 6.8 will be also revised later so now i think the data validation has been done already so 10 million is not uh, yeah done already so 10 million for 10 million the output has now identified as 10 million one and the increment percentage has been revised to 8.7 so this is how we apply a function and we determine the input value and we here revise the input value based on the output value which we have applied using a function one key important fact that if you are going to apply goal seek function you need to set up the output cell where you have some formula in there so only those those cell can be set up as the output cell. So this is how we apply goal seek function in Google Sheets.